Welcome to BriefCam Maps. Maps is a new investigative view where you're able to visualize your cases on a map. As I open the review module, you'll notice this brand new map view. For those of you familiar with BriefCam, we still have the standard grid view where you can see all the objects in your cases if you click on the grid view button. Now in the center of your screen, you'll notice three camera locations with the video synopsis associated with each one. So as I hover over these, you'll see they're associated with the kitchen, the park outside, and the QA room. So you'll notice there's a number associated with each of the cameras here. So these numbers represent the number of objects in each camera. And these objects can be filtered using any of our filters over on the right hand side including things like personal attributes or color. So what we'll do here is filter to the color blue, and you'll notice that each of these cameras will update to the number of objects that have blue. This could be helpful if you're trying to track down like a missing child who is wearing blue, or maybe there's a blue vehicle associated with a crime and you just wanna filter to those objects. Next, I wanna show some other features like the ability to search for a location on the map. So what we'll do here is search for uh, location on Washington Street in Brighton, Massachusetts. And the reason we might want to do that is because we might know there's a crime that's been committed there and we want to add a camera to that location. So this camera here, for example, is part of our VMS, so we have access to it, but it's not yet part of this case. So what we'll want to do is add this camera to this case so we can see all of the videos associated with it. And we can customize the settings of how long we want this video processed for or run for. So we're just going to grab an hour here and queue this up for processing. So while we wait for this video to process from the VMS, I want to show another way to add video to a case. So if you have a video file associated with an investigation, you're actually able to upload video files right to the map. And the value of this is if you are conducting an investigation, and you get video from a third party, you're now able to add that video into the map to help with your investigation. So now you can see videos not only just from your VMS system, but also videos that you're manually adding to the map. Now as we return to the map view, you'll notice that our outside building camera has just finished processing from the VMS. So if we'd like, we could go in there and view the object associated with that camera. But instead, we're going to focus on the third-party video file we just added. As you can see here, we have the Add Coordinates button, which allows us to add the video file to the map and drag it around to the location where we want, similar to like dropping a pin on a map. Alternatively, if you want to add the latitude and longitude coordinates manually, you can do that and the pin will move to that location, allowing you to apply it to the map. And now all the video files and cameras have been added to our case and can be seen on our map view. So our goal with Maps is to introduce a new investigation tool where users can map out their investigation using video files instead of just static images.